Kilpailussa mukana Ramirent. Kotikatsomon eväät tarjoaa kotipizza. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to some more disc golf media coverage. We are here today at the second stop at the Prodigy Disc Pro Tour in Heinola, Finland, at the Kippis Disc Golf Course. I'm Tony Farrow. With them as always, Cornelius Farnsworth Farnsworth. You're listening to the sweet sounds of Farrow Farnsworth commentary. This time, for the Finnish Pro Tour. Really excited to be a part of that. These guys are good. I'm really excited to look at this course, to be honest. Lots of work has been put into this course. The aesthetic value is Who is top-notch. this guy? Here's a new face. Mr. Seppo Paiu himself, 1022 out of Finland. I guess these guys will all be out of Finland. Niklas Antila up next, 1027. Back from his trip from the U.S. Next up, Rasmus Metzama, 992 out of Estonia. Because not all of them are from Finland. Well, Estonia's just over the pond. And last but not least, we have Ville Ahokas, 1011 out of Turku. He had a huge battle with Laurin Leitinen last year on this very same course. Okay, for me, he's a new face and name. I'm interested to see his game. Yeah, Ville is a friend. I hope you're watching, buddy. What's up? All right, well, what up, Ville? Let's get on this action. Hole one, par four, 167 meters. Got a really straight tunnel shot off the tee. Good shot would be past this pathway here, but I believe the benchmark to get up and down for a birdie has got to be at least across the street. Set yourself up somewhere right around the path. Get your approach shot right inside here on this tree, protected green, slightly slanting downhill. Not too difficult of a par four though. What an impressive tee pad construction these guys get to start the round on. I think there's going to be even fancier ones when we see this course yeah, go through. that's awesome. Seppo up first with a huge drive way past the street and across the pathway even. He should be just chipping it up, maybe even giving it a slight run. Who knows? Nicholas. Back in Europe after a very successful uh, U.S. tour. And he's flipping that driver up real nice, straight down the middle. Little finish off to the left, but tree kicks him to the middle fairway. Should be an easy sidearm approach for that birdie attempt. Rasmus up next. I have seen this guy That's before. That's a tight line over there. Believe he is not the typical backhand player. I think sidearm is more his forte, but he executes through that left fairway nicely. Unfortunately, Ville is not able to do the same, catching a early tree on the left-hand side. Yeah, that's an unfortunate start for Ville. That's, that's a pretty fair gap to hit. It is a pretty fair gap on the first hole of your round. Look at that round. approach. And then he has a tighter gap here, and he has no problem with it. Really nice approach. I hope he has a look at a three. I, I think he's the three's really out of the picture at this yeah, point. Yeah, I think he's still a little bit short, just going to be pitching it up and down, taking that par. Speaking of three being out of the picture, this is not an easy approach. No, Rasmus on the left side of the fairway, flexing something in, wow. and wow, that's just inside the bullseye. Great shot from Rasmus. Just a zero-stress birdie to start round one. Uh, Niklas up next. I bet he'll do the same. Yeah, this is much more textbook, straightforward shot, and he executes that with perfection. 
That will be a tap-in birdie. I have a feeling this card is making this hole look very easy. That could be. And Seppo I mean, <laughs> squeaking it just around some trees. That looked like a bit of a run. Just passing past the basket at chain height. But he will be right around circle's edge for the birdie. No, he was absolutely running that. Um, Ville just squeaking a bit past the basket on that approach. Look what Seppo has left. Yeah, a little seven meter stabber. A little tester to start the round oh, that, off. That could have been Circle's Edge. That was uh, he left a lot of work there. Yeah, that was just about eight nine meters, and that'll really set the pace for your round. That'll really help start your confidence level off. That's true. Ville just a bit inside a Seppo, executing that par putt very nicely. And Rasmus and Niklas will just tap in those formality birdies. Great execution, boys. Good start. Three birdies in a par. Well, let's move on to hole two. Ooh, does this mean we get the Koti Pizza replay on these? This I hole? sure hope so. This could I do be a star frame hole. This is just a little touch shot. Par three, 92 meters downhill absolutely amazing green rock lined green with this astro turf laid out ob is on the street and beyond left side but i think these guys are all looking at that bullseye maybe even an ace run what do you think of them uh, laying out astro turf out on this such a beautiful uh, territory that they have this disc golf course on that gives a different aesthetic value. You can yeah, look see at the play. here as the look disc at the ground slides play, up. Obviously, absolutely, There's lots more ground play with the disc as opposed to just leaving it with the dirt. Well, but Seppo a, executed that great. It's an that's artificial a, green, I guess, at this point. But that's. Uh, but look at it; it's so pretty. It looks like a mini golf. Oh, this could be. Oh. Just tapping a tree branch, ending up a little short, but look at that roll. And Niklas will just take one inside the bullseye. But that was a great shot anyways. That looked like it had ace run potential. Do you have much experience playing from these kind of raised tee-offs like this? I do. I have played on my fair share. Rasmus just a little bit short inside. And that will be a bit of work to do. Probably looking to get up and down for par. Yeah, that was a big misfire, as we were discussing there. But that was that was a big miss. It looks oh, like a pretty routine, Ville. easy shot. Oh, that, this looks a bit juiced. Yeah, I was going to say, from the get-go, that looked a bit fast out of the hand. Ricocheting left off a tree. He will be a bit deep of the basket, but safe. Yeah, this is the second easiest hole on the course. That this is, this is a must too, is what most of them are thinking. Oh, Rasmus just parked it. Good scramble from there. Let's see if Villez got this. It looked low the whole way out of the hand, didn't it? Just a bit fast. Hand was a bit ahead of the putter. Never had a chance. All right, Seppo up for birdie. Seppo eats putts like this for breakfast. Fantastic birdie birdie start. Ville will clean up the par. As Niklas will tap in his birdie as well to also be two down for two. Yeah, just zero stress at this point for Antila and Two under. Routine. Good start, boys. Yep. Let's move on to hole three, par three, 94 meters. We're going to be going through a tight gap through the middle here. Slightly uphill, but you really got some crazy green here, let's say. Uphill slope. Probably want to catch that first. 
so your disc can stop and not go down the backside. Obi is left on the road as well. But I think this is another one. These guys are all looking to get another birdie. Seppo up first. Mid-range. Just a bit inside. He'll be circle two. That's maybe a circle two. Super dangerous edge. putt right there. That'll be a tough one to hit with the with the downhill right exactly. behind the basket. Niklas next. I bet this is a putter. No big deal. Just inside the circle. He will also be a dangerous for putt for a right-handed hyzer putter. Yeah, but at least he's putting level with the basket. Absolutely. Oh, Rasmus just again. Two oh, balls in and, a row. Oh no. And it kicked so right it went OB. I didn't even mention the OB on the right hand side early. He's got serious calibration issues right now with uh, the, the wrist and the release point. Yeah, the backhand is just not really on target for him right now. And he is going for the re -tee. It's probably the smart play where he ricocheted. But again, early release, catching the trees on the left. And he still has work to do to get up and down. You think that was a good play, huh? To take the re -tee. Depending on where that ricocheted and in the out of bounds. I just think like Ricky Wysocki. It doesn't matter where he kicks. He's scrambling, you know? I mean, I don't think we're, we've got Ricky Wysocki on the card today, though. Um, Ville up. That'd be cool, though. Ooh. Uh, just a little juiced from Ville, and he flew right across past the basket, down the hill a bit. This is more what you want to see from the approach is catching the front side of the hill. Here's a true tester for Seppo. Is he going to run And as it? you see, this is not now in the straddle. No. I'm not sure if he was even running No, that. no, that was a good solid layup. Okay. Nothing crazy. Respect for this green. Niklas will be running this. No doubt. And he cashes. a boy. Three for three start Jeez. for Niklas. Very unassuming talent, you know? It just That really looks very easy. Not to sound cliche. Oh, what a, talking about looking Great easy. Great save. Here's our first look, really, at Ville's putt. That was, it looks effortless. Well, he's a straddle putter, so he's already got my heart for one. So, And he's a really cool guy. So there's two. And uh, But no, yeah, Ville is an amazing putter. How do we say his last name? Ahokas. 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 Well, let's move on. I can't wait to see the rest of this. Hole four, par three, 133 meters. This is a interesting, interesting curve to this shot. Tunnel shot off the beginning, and now you're going to dog leg right and start downhill, making it through this tunnel. Basket is right at the base of the hill. Don't get too crazy on it. Lots of, lots of trees around on the left and right. This was a par four, I believe, before. It looked like a par four when I was looking at the card, but how do you approach this hole? I think these guys are going to be looking to do a sidearm, maybe a little bit of height on it, maybe try to push that ceiling and cut the corner, get that downhill playing with the shot, and try to get a forward skip on the downhill. Probably something exactly Niklas like that. Niklas 
yeah, maybe a little bit lower than I thought it would be, but still Keep getting rolling. That, Come on now. Yeah, yeah. That doesn't hurt. Getting some of that downhill action. It was hard to see where he landed in respect to the basket, but probably but a, a very shot. long downhill putt. Oh. Yeah, it didn't really work so, so well, much. but I like the, uh, what do you call it? Effort. Originality, let's say. That was uh, that was a not the normal line. Good idea. This is what I was thinking we'd see more of. Yeah, I think uh, this is your standard. Putter, mid-range, flippy. Just take the three kind of a play straight down the gap straight down the gap again take your three move on rasmus this looks like he's pushing the limits so this used to be a par four you said i believe last year this was a par four and you can kind of see that it's it would be just a soft par four if it was and now it's a really tough par three but I could definitely see eagle looks on this if it was a par four. If you really had the sidearm, you push the limits, get around the trees right, you can get it to filter down the hill. Well, there's no coincidence this was the hardest hole on the course. So this just pops them within the first four holes. They get this juggernaut to deal with. 36 is the average on this for the field. So. Wow. Yeah, it's that's it's a, like you said, it plays like a par four, a little easier par four. It's one of those tweener holes, if yeah, you want to call it. Yeah, three is really fine give it and a move name. on. But. A big part of disc golf or golf in general is just picking your battles, right? When do you attack? Exactly. It's all about the score in the end. Everybody's got to play the same course. Rasmus just pitching it up. That's a perfect textbook play, I would say, for this court, for this hole. Get some good distance off the tee. There Leave was one sure birdie possible. for the day. Sorry to interrupt you. but No problem, sir. Who was <laughs> just, that birdie? I just decided to look like, well, uh, did anyone birdie it? Yeah, there was one. News coming. Well, we'll watch Villa here nail this Please par putt. Oh, no. Uh, that would be Arne Avinayan. Avinayanen. Please bear with me on that pronunciation. That's a tough Cornelius one. Cornelius tries. That, I, think, I think if you guys knew, you'd be like, yeah, that is a tough one. But and anyway, Arne. Nice birdie, bro. And he started off. Arne started off. Four down for the first five holes, so that a boy not a it. bad start. Avila in for his par. He will be two down for the four first four holes. Rasmus to clean up par as well. Villa, unfortunate bogey. Yeah, pretty quiet start from him. Nothing spectacular yet. Nicholas, on the other hand, just a sneaky three down through four. Three for four is a He's solid just start. Putting those things right in the circle, well, well within the circle, with almost no work to do for his birdies. Well, let's move it on to hole five, par three, 94 meters. We have a mandatory right directly off of the tee. Backhand right, he's going to look for some flex shot. Maybe with the overstable mid-range or driver, depending on the power you want to give it. This is a pretty tight gap to hit. But nonetheless, on this course, you want to get all the birdies you can get. Under 100 meters, you want this. Oh, Niklas, a just early. a bit too much ante off of the tee. Maybe a bit too late out of the hand as well. Catching an early tree on the right side. Yeah, that's true. Early right, but late out of the hand. 
Seppo, just looking like he threw a soft hyzer at Absolutely. it. Absolutely. That just looked super routine. Just outside the circle for Seppo. He will be putting for birdie. Excuse me. Rasmus up next. Ooh, a bit late out of the hand as well, but squeaking through the trees, getting most of the way down the fairway. Looks to be just outside circle two. It looks to be a really tight line these guys are demanded to hit. It is not the easiest shot. The, the flex shot, Annie right off of the hand. That's got to be left. Yeah, that looks a bit inside. Ricocheting to the right, but leaving him in a nice spot for a... Maybe a long throw-in attempt or uh, maybe a circle three possible shot at it. Everything is possible. Niklas up first. Eyes or skip shot. Just catching a tree, but he's in the circle. Maybe one tree in the way to deal with. I don't think he's going to be really satisfied with that. I think he already wasn't satisfied with it off the tee. But another look at Ville's putting game. Now circle two. Just, yeah, again, a half go. I totally agree. Rasmus, let's go for a whole go, not a half go. That was a whole go. I'll, I'll give him the whole go. That was a solid attempt. Just not enough Anheuser on the putter. But he probably had some trees to deal with, too. And if Nicholas is putting third, that means he's closer. So feeling real good about this. And a well-saved par from Nicholas. He was way out of position with that drive kick, so... Uh, Really professional three there. And Seppo just inside the circle. I did not see that correctly, but that looks to be about six meters. Oh, no. Oh, and just a little high right. Oh, Seppo. Not what you want on that. Uh, just drive. as a casual watcher of disc golf coverage, I mean, I've, I've seen Seppo struggle a lot with his putt, and he's adjusted it, and... Uh, so let's see how he recalibrates throughout the round. Yeah, I've been able to enjoy the battlefield with Seppo on a few occasions. So Sometimes to be the best thrower of the disc out there isn't enough. You know, he's he needs to cash that in on the putting green. Yeah, every disc golfer does. As we move on, hole six, par four, 217 meters. There is a Mando way far left on the fairway just to prevent anybody from trying to play up the roadway because we need to go is through the woods. Is it a restricted woods. zone? No restricted zone. No restricted zone. Just lots of hills to deal with and trees, and we're going to be fighting gravity as we are turning left as the hill slants left to right. So most shots are going to want to be pushing more to the right. You're going to be fighting the entire time here, trying to get your disc towards the basket. Look for a lot of shots to be higher in the air than normal. But not this tee shot. Tee shot, you're going straight down the gut. Antula with a really nice release. Heavy right side, but find his, he found a way through. Yeah, a little bit right side. That just flipped up and turned over. Like I said, as it's slanting left to right, gravity is just going to push the disc right. Everything is going to be trying to fade right. Well, second hardest hole on the course, as, as it turns out. 4.6. I believe it. You break it down two times 110 meter mm -hmm. shots with this type of a fairway. 
Seppo doesn't really care. That just said, oh, which way is it sloping? I'll still Heiser skip just to get the as left. as far up there as possible. It looks like a lot of danger could happen from this fairway as well. It's really sloping right. Rasmus up. Let's see if he can correct on his backhand. Oh, just a little too much Annie ricocheting off a tree, but getting back on the fairway. Ahokas. Also a bit turned over, catching early trees. That's going to be scramble mode engaged. I have a feeling looks much, looks much more friendly, that gap from the commentator booth than from the tee off. I would agree. These guys are all pulling it right. I guess they're trying to put a little more power on it to get to the basket. And as Finland loves to give just a random shower, rain just decides to come on out. That is good old Finnish weather. Rasmus up with a big hyzer, but catching the Guardians. He will be about circle two's edge. All right, let's see his jump putt game. Niklas. That Ooh. looks inside. That, oh. It's the, the Guardian gate. Yep, the Fortress of Doom here at the Heinola course. Oh yeah, yeah. It's like they put him there for a reason. Okay, look at the line he's going for here. It also yeah. looks like he's trying to go inside. That could be real dangerous. Maybe a bit too overstable of a disc from Seppo, and he got way left. So just conceded for the par. Mm -hmm. Next hole. Not much to do from that spot. You're just really trying to get through as many trees as you can first. Villa, big high hyzer. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, wow. There is the bad news that from the That thing increased hill. in speed on the way down. That's amazing how physics works and oh. gravity and whatnot. You can just see the emotion on his face. Physics plus gravity plus... It's just not nice. Villa will be up again. This looks much nicer. This will be right there. Yeah, good recovery. Absolutely. Great recovery. Not much you can do with that. That just happens sometimes. Villa up, taking the easy par. Oh, be that, that was uh, Seppo. Oh, sorry, Seppo. No problem. But both up with the same score on the scorecard in the end. Oh, sit, 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 sit. Oh, sit. that is not Nicholas, going to this no. time. Oh. Oh, that is it looked really totally treacherous. Fine. Oh man. I mean, that's a huge decision to make, huh? The really the approach with the sidearm or the backhand and what angle is the disc gonna land on that slope? And I mean really it's another element to the game. Absolutely is, but sometimes there's just nothing you can do and Oh, the disc Rasmus, golf gods almost, just, I know. That was a good putt. They just don't want to give it to you. Seppo will take the par. Yeah, Seppo played. It was really a veteran move. He knew he was out of position, really no chance to park it or anything. So, uh, I mean, I wouldn't even dull down. That was an amazing scramble shot. It looked like a forehand roller almost that kind mm -hmm. of panned out in the end and I mean, even just to get out there, that was pretty dang good execution. Well, we got three pars and one bogey for the second hardest, hole, ugh, second hardest hole on the course. Hey -o. We're getting that out. Say that five get times em. fast. Antila with a bogey, unfortunately. Oh, Antila with the bogey. My apologies. I was rating scores too fast. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 
Legendaarinen ylämummo. Se on voittaja valita. Kotipitsasta. Dang, that pizza looked good actually. Except you can keep that sour cream or whatever the heck that was on top. Get that off that pizza. Other than that, it looked great. What are your feelings, Tony Farrell? I also don't do the the white creamy stuff on the pizza. No white creamy stuff on the top of the pizza. Sorry. You got that? Let's but do. we love you, Koti Pizza. Oh, I that do was like. Not, oh my God. This is all going so badly now. That was not Koti Pizza. Well, let's watch some disc golf action. What's up, Koti Pizza? Seppo up first on this downhill par three. It looked a little too stable. No, that's the shot or you're really going to want. Exactly stable enough. Nice little backhand flexor with an overstable disc. Try not to go too far. Behind the basket is treacherous as usual. Is that the quite downhill? This. That it is. Okay. Oh, Rasmus, that doesn't look like it's coming out, but a great tree direction. Puts him just in about circle two. Oh, Antilla pulls that disc out of nowhere. Making magic happen in the rain. Let's see if the disc can do the same. He snuck through a lot of stuff, I think. Look at that. In the circle. Putting for birdie. Great shot. Ville looking to park this and get his first birdie for the day. He's currently two over par. Ooh, taking a little bit inside route, a little straighter route. But he is still inside the circle. We got four putts for birdie coming up. Rasmus to start. Mm, just a little short right. Yeah, really way off target. Niklas up next. Oh, yeah. No way. Oh, no. <gasps> oh, it's it's Get a little more than you thought, that. even. Oh, oh good. That's hey, good hustle to the bag, though. Could see that. I don't know how they say that in Finnish, but that sucks. Yeah, this what, guy's do you, a veteran. what do you call getting daylod in Finland? I don't know. That's That would be the equivalent, I guess, but... Man, what Watch a Watch this, away. though. Cash money <laughs> There's parsing. a reason why he's European champion. That kid. Look at him. He's stoic, under control. Heart of a lion. It's part of the sport that he plays that can't happen. So how do you react to it? How do you step up? How do you step up to a dead center spit out that rolls away awesome. at 15 meters? Cash. Really cool to watch. And not to take away from Ville cashing in the birdie at a boy. Seppo backing him up. Going Seppo in the lead now, as far as we know. Three down for the for round. For this card. Hey, in the rain on this course. Three down. That's not bad. Let's see if we can get a couple more. Hole eight, par four, 222 meters. This is a big par four in the woods. Got to get over this valley on your first shot. And hopefully through this gap we're just passing. Filter down to the left a little bit. Get yourself set up for the second shot, which will now start curving from left to right. And look at this pretty green. Absolutely awesome aesthetic value on the side of this hillside. Really makes for a little bit of a landing zone on a giant right to left sloping green. It's a giant hole. This is the longest hole on the course. And the fifth hardest as well. It's going to be a crusher. Unfortunately, Seppo got a little bit too overturned on the drive. It's going to be a bit short, but he did get over that little water hazard, if you will. Will I? The pond that has been created in the fairway. How was it created? By the water falling out of the clouds. 
Thank you. No problem. Villa just and you're welcome, everyone listening. (laughs) You're welcome in advance as well for all the rest of this comments. Boy, Rasmus, a little bit late on the release, but it looks like it's gonna get clean. Ricocheting way too high. Get some middle of the fairway, maybe a bit left. Very aggressive. That was great, though. Is there any of that left? Nicholas is going to give it a shot. Oh, a bit overturned. Yep, absolutely it is. Yeah, that's going to be a bit pinched off. Let's see if he can manufacture something on that right side. Who knows if that was disc selection or maybe wet fingers. I mean, now now we have different conditions. Huh? Well, I mean, with. like you said, this is a long hole, and you really got to get distance off the tee, but super straight. And, and yeah, look you at need this. a flippy disc. Look for at that. the fairway. Super overstable X1 out of Seppo. Flex sidearm. Is he going to get the roll down the hill? Almost. But that's not that bad. He's got a few trees in his way, but all in all, should be a very easy par. It looks like he can go for that. He's got that little. He could. I mean, uh, the little backstopper and construction zone there to, to hey, but, stop him. Yeah, it's not going to be easy. I will say that already. What a beautiful disc golf fairway. Solid approach. That's going to leave him right in the middle of the fairway to get up and down. See if Niklas can't pull something out here. Oh, hey, that's wide. Come on, find a ricochet. Yeah, he was early, like, I guess late on the drive. He pulled it right. Now this time he was yeah, it didn't put also him in. late. He actually. wasn't in that bad but of a position off of the late. drive, though. That was really okay positioning. Could have had a big sidearm to the basket still. Oh, he put a lot on this, Rasmus. Yeah, this is looking a bit too wide, though. Oi, what is that? That's going to be precarious. Another little guardian wall that he will have to try and fight his way through. Ville, pretty textbook up and down. Bit long, but it's stuck. That's happy. He looked close enough. He should have jump putted that thing. Come on, let's go, guys. Yeah, Nicholas is going to jump up. The, he's going for it. Uneasy footing, rainy, wet. Come on. Oh, <laughs> wow. From here, that looked in the whole way. And look at it go. No. What? Oh, my gosh. This oh, kid can't get a break boy. right now. Oh. Yeah, I'd do that, too, when I saw the roll away had just happened. That Ross was, was really nasty. Laying it up. Yeah, that Seppo. changes all of their gameplay, period. That thing. That still looked like a half go it from did. Seppo. Well, he's in great position after two shots. Yeah, a good little Annie putt. Look at this. Is he going to show us more veteran experience and just pop this right in? Come on, boy. Yeah, that's short left. Unfortunate for Nick Gloss. Yeah, but you'll never see it from his face or from his uh, emotions, you know? Well, he sure shook that disc off hard. It was wet. There was a lot of water on it. There was there was definitely no water it left. It was very wet. It was raining. Villa cleaning up the par. Yeah, he's Solid climbing, score. Climbing back closer to par. Solid score on this hole. Unfortunately, Niklas will not be seeing the par. Taking another bogey. It got the pizza. Hole nine, par 307 meters. You're going to have this OB zone right here off the tee, and that is where everybody's probably going to be shooting through, as it is the bigger gap for the righty backhand. Get through that gap. Get past the OB, 
Should be home free. Let it filter in. Get that birdie to finish out the front nine. Do you think, uh, Tony, that the power of invisibility or the ability to fly would be more of an advantage for disc golf? And why do you think that? Flying, because then you wouldn't have to use so much work on your legs. Invisibility, I have no idea why you would need that for disc golf. Yeah, I mean, this is why the question. I mean, this was recently posed to me, and I was forced to choose between the two. So I won't tell you which one I chose. Okay. Seppo, do you know? Well, Ville is maybe hoping for invisibility as he just went OB, <laughs> right? <laughs> Sorry. That's a good one. I like it. <laughs> Seppo, why did you do that? All right, Nick Gloss up. Oh, this looks right. This is good. Flipping up. Skip, skip. Yeah, just That's inside the, putt you the circle. Want. Uphill putt for birdie. That should hopefully get you one back, Niklas. Oh, Ville up just early. Ricocheting hard left off a tree. Yeah, hard left, but it looks like room to get up and down for a par. Rasmus. Which there were. There were 70 pars for the field. So this was just not mm. a huge scoring separator hole. Yeah, this is a make it or break it kind of a hole, I would say. If you hit the gap clean, you should just be happy hitting a birdie. No big deal. If you don't, it is scramble central. Oh, this could get from bad to worse now quickly for Rasmus. Uh, that was Ville. That was Ville. He's still working on this. This is for three. Oh, just a bit short. Looked good out of the hand. Just didn't have enough speed to keep the height. Rasmus will clean up the par. Really nice putt. Great save. I mean, these guys still have the back nine to... You know, do something to get under par, but mm, just a bit too short for Seppo. I have a feeling chase card. Yeah, there is no chase card yet, but yet. Uh, I don't think that the scores on this card are enough to really put them in the lead right now. It's Seppo's still anybody's playing pretty game. well, but well, I'm see. interested to see the 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 breakdown huh, after the front nine. Well, let's see if Niklas can capitalize on this birdie. Really Absolutely. nice putt. He will go back to two down to finish the front nine off. That'll regain some confidence for the young man. Fortunate double, bo double bogey for Ville. And we have some cleanups for Seppo. Be netting the par. Yeah, put the bag down. I mean, the umbrella bag putt. That could be too mint, you know, too much. It could be a bit much. Could be a bit much, Seppo. Well, that'll do it for our front nine. We have Seppo leading the pack, or leading our card with three down. Niklas right behind him with minus two. And Rasmus and Ville having a bit rough start. Plus two, plus three. Plenty of time to come back. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. We have Yudna Hainanen with minus five, along with Rasmus Tuominen. Big, huge race. Four downs, three downs. Top 10 is right on each other's heels. Stick around, guys. We got the back nine coming up. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is Fire Farnsworth Commentary. Over now. Barrel Farnsworth.